Good evening, Lanterns. I am your host, Kalo Brad, the host of the Kalo the Hubble Sports Report, coming to you live in Leesburg, Virginia, part of the Loudoun County area, that is. Today, I'll be talking about, well, the sad news just now, that is, that um, Angels pitcher Tyler Skaggs is deceased. And he's dead at 27. I'll get into that for sure. And it's, um, they also, they, they say that there's no foul play involved, and who knows what this was with a parent's suicide. Who knew what? Who knows what it is? I'm against that for sure. Tragic loss. The uh, bottle bottle cha- the the uh, bottle cap challenge by Max Holloway, who started it. Evolve 130 results. The the very latest on the um, NBA free agency, the fallout from the free agency. And I'll also tell you who's, who's, who was on the cover of um, NBA 2K20, and I'll tell you which date that's going to be. So I will get into it right now, ladies. But I do want to start start off with the with the tragic news, ladies and gentlemen. Angels pitcher Tyler Skaggs, he has died at 27. He died now. South Lake PD, that is they they um they addressed a guy. That died in a, in a Texas hotel room in a Hilton Hotel, which is in South South Lake, South Lake, Texas. That is. But um, really. Tyler Skaggs, the LA LA Angels pitcher, he's died at 27, and the cause of his death is ter- is a bit unknown, and it, this may have been an apparent suicide. And hopefully more details are going to emerge from, from his uh, passing, that is. So, uh, once again, I want to send my thoughts and prayers and my condolences out to Tyler Skaggs' family members, the Angels, the L.A. Angels, Mike Trout and the others, Angels fans, the viewers, subscribers, and for this heartbreaking loss of Tyler Skaggs. And this is really tough, and this is a bit brutal, by the way. So, it is just, no one knew how he died. It may have been apparent suicide. Now, investigation is ongoing, that is, by the way. So, when when the cause of death is unveiled, if it's, if it's an apparent suicide, I'll, I'll let you guys know if it's anything else. I'll let you guys know for sure. So... It's just really tragic loss, and and you know the Angels they had to cancel, cancel a game against the Texas Rangers, so it is just very awful and just a very ups. This is very upsetting, and you know that that's just the breaking news and tragic news right there. So Tyler Skaggs, ladies and gents, once again he's died at 27 at a hotel room in at a South Lake, Texas. So it, it's just really really just tough so yeah Southville Texas that is so it's just really tough and it's just awful news so he last pitched this past Saturday that is it's just really awful and no one knows what is and no one knows right now what his untimely death was so hopefully when when it when his untimely death the cause of it is unveiled that is hopefully by later on today or tomorrow I'll let you guys know for sure and just it's just tough right there. So that's all that's all I got for that, by the way. Now moving on to the Evolve 130 results. You saw Adrian Alam Alamis, that is, versus ha- Harlem Bravado versus Stephen Wolf ends in no contest. Brandy Lauren defeats former ACW women's champ, that is, Natalia Mar- Markova. Josh Briggs defeats Brandon Juggart. Kurt Stein defeats Sean Maluda. WWN champ J.D. Drake versus Baba Tunde ends in a no contest when the unwanted of Eddie Kingston and Joe Gacy attacked. Anthony Sharkbait Anthony Sharkbait Gutierrez defeats Stephen Panna. Josh Briggs defeats Archero Ruiz. Tyler Briggs defeats Anthony Retro. 
Universal Sexual himself, Anthony Green. Defeat, yeah, he defeats Anthony Green. Also, um, the Skulk of A.R. Fox and Leon Ruff, they defeated the Beaver Boys of Alex Reynolds and John Silver, Mill Chocolate of Brandon Watts and Randy Summers, and the Awanta defeated Kingston and Joe Gacy in an elimination tag team match. And Roderick Strong defeats Evolve Champ Austin Theory. That was a non title match. I will tell you this that Roderick Strong is going to get an Evolve title opportunity down, somewhere down the road, that is. So it's going to be real amazing to see him. That's going to be pretty incredible right there. Those, that's in the books. And ladies and gentlemen, be sure to catch um, Evolve's 10 year, 10 year anniversary celebration, Evolve 131. Their 10th year anniversary celebration, which streams live for the first time ever, live on the WWE Network. And that is free for the subscribers. That is, you'll see Matt Riddle versus Drew Gulak. You will see Adam Cole, the NXT champ, take on Akira Tozawa for the NXT title. You will see Evolve champ Austin Theory, WWE champ J.D. Drake, the unwanted the EVO Tag Team Champs of Joe Casey and Eddie Kingston, all that and more. So, EVO's 10 year anniversary celebration comes to you live for the first time ever live on the WWE Network, and that is free for the subscribers. That's for EVO 131, by the way, so you, you, do, you do not want to miss on that. Get your opportunity while you can. So, that was going to be the 2300 Arena and the City Bradley Love in Philly, that is, by the way. So, do so while you can, guys. It's must see, it's must watch, and it's it's gonna be incredible. So that'll be that'll be amazing right there. Also, by the way, I do want I do want to address this that um Anthony Davis and D Wade they land on the covers of NBA two K two K twenty. Here's the thing though, A D Anthony Davis he's on the regular cover of NBA two K twenty, and he's and he's on the um delu digital deluxe edition of NBA two K twenty. Dwayne Wade, he's on the legendary edition of NBA 2K20. And that's going to be coming out. And NBA 2K20 is going to be coming out September 6th. It'll be at GameStop, Walmart, Target, Best Buy. So you can pre order right now, that is, if you want to, guys. And you can check out the trailer on IGN. It's really good news, so that's absolutely amazing for everybody. It's absolutely just incredible. So, look, so I hope you guys play into it, look into it. It's gonna be pretty incredible. So don't miss on that. Don't miss on your opportunity, by the way. Also, by the way, I also want to address this that um, Cream Hunt could be in more trouble. That is because he spoke with um, numerous Cleveland PD, PD officers after a night of partying and at a um, an alleged argument. Alleged short argument happened. So Cream Hunt went to the Barley House party party place on Saturday night with a friend and and left and basically with yeah, with a friend that is and stayed up late in the evening and he left something allowed that as he left something um any he, any he left something occurred that and cops sort of spoke to cream hunt wasn't arrest and basically it was just a bit of a small argument so cream hunt wasn't again he was not arrested he wasn't charged wasn't detained and basically he left without incident that actually got that actually got into the altercation was with another guy before cops arrived without any um witness doesn't yeah and, and a witness doesn't even know if they had a fight there was a, actually a fight or not and they were messing around so cream hunt could be in more trouble once again after he got into a bit of an arg a small argument with a witness or a friend of his and now you guys remember that 
the instance that he's gotten into, you know, there was a, the Mosaic nightclub incident. There was also an incident where he punched a guy last, these are all last year. And then last February, he punched, he, um, Pushed, shut, and kicked Abigail Eidinger, that is, and he got released by the Chiefs. He was also, you know, signed to the uh, Browns, which is a big no-no right there. And he's got an in-game suspension, but now this. Now, I can tell you this, though, that Kareem Hunt is going to be in a lot of trouble. So whatever the incident was or whatever led to the this small argument, Kareem Hunt, he should be banned for the rest of his life. So the best option that I would have to do, whatever led to a small argument, Kareem Hunt should be banned for life. That's it. Because this is unaccept this is absolutely unacceptable. You can check it out on TMC Sports to see how it all went down. So basically, ladies and gentlemen, I, I will tell you this right now that Kareem Hunt should be banned. They should have had him banned months ago. And they didn't do it. So the NFL is going to come to the conclusion by banning Kareem Hunt if he gets any more off-the-field incidents. Now, this is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. So Kareem Hunt has not been himself. So whatever led to this small argument, well, I would suggest banning Kareem Hunt as the best thing to do. It is. And this is something you just, I just keep, this is unacceptable. You cannot allow trouble football players back in the league. You, you can't do that. And have him sign to other, and you have him sign to other teams. You you just can't do it, really. You can't. And all the Browns are aware of this too. So I, I really think that the best option I would have Kareem Hunt just banned for life from the banned from the NFL for dear life. That's it. This is absolutely unacceptable. Like he need, he needs to, to dissolve from the NFL for life. That's it. He's got to go. He needs to go. So the NFL does the right thing by having Kareem Hunt banned for life. He's already got an NK suspension, and that's not a, that's not even enough right there. So I think it's obvious that Kareem Hunt should be banned for life for the NFL. That's that's the best decision that would to go right there. Right there. That's all I'm gonna say to that. Also, on the latest on the um, the free agency that is, Oster is gonna be staying with the Rockets. He agreed to a three year offer. Hassan Whiteside traded to the to the Blazers. Seth Curry has signed a four-year, 32 mil offer with the Mavericks. Ennis Kander signs a two-year, 10 mil offer with the Celtics. That includes second-year player option, that is, by the way. And you got D'Angelo Russell. I can't believe I'm saying this. He got traded to those piece of trash words. That's a, that's a big mistake. Really big mistake. I'm ashamed of you, DeAndre Rus- D'Angelo Russell. I really am. You should know better than that. Know better. Iggy, Andre Iguodala got traded to the Grizz. There's going to be protected 2024 20, first round draft pick. Numbers 1 to 4. And it's going to be protected number 1 in the 2025 and unprotected in 2026, that is, if a pick isn't conveyed. Robert Lopez is going to be joining his brother with the Bucks. That is, by the way, so that's pretty good news there. Brothers are going to be running in, in um the Brook the Brooks brothers. They're going to be going. They're going to be joining up together together with the Bucks. Now this I do need to get down to that um, fifteen I think fifteen or seventeen year old. Corey Goff, she took down five time. Women's Grand Slam champ Venus Williams at the 2019 Wimbledon Open. Oh my goodness! And Naomi Osaka got taken down too. That's that right there. I would consider those upset of the year. One of those is going to be upset of the year nominees. I mean, that's something I can't describe right there. Losing to a 15 year old. I mean, it's, that's come on. So that's that's all I'm going to have for that right now. So that's. Bring a new scene at the very least, but who knows? Now, I do want to comment on this, by the way. Another topic I want to get down to is the fact that Jason Statham, that there is a bottle cap challenge going on, and it started by Max Holloway, and it's been going viral throughout these past 24 hours. Now, you saw Jason Statham 
That is, he joined the bottle cap challenge, and he twisted, and he like twisted, twisted a bottle cap with a spin kick, with a spin kick, and Max out. And this is by Max Holloway, by the way. You saw Jason Statham. That is, he did it. He joined the bottle cap challenge. He did a spin kick that would open the the top, the bottle top, that the bottle cap. And my goodness, it's amazing. You guys, you guys can try that. I would do so as well. I, I would definitely. I'm not sure if I should do that, but that's gonna, that right there should be on Sports Center. That should be on top top plays. And man, that could be going going on against the records. Who could do that? Who knows? So that's incredible news right there. So the bottle cap challenge is, is ongoing by it's all started by Max Holloway doing a spin kick. All you got to do, you, you got to like do a spin kick. That's how you twist the uh, bottle cap, that is, by opening it. And the bottle cap just like comes right, and the bottle cap just comes right off and it loosens. So that's incredible. You guys can check that out, by the way. You guys got to see that. Well, ladies and gents, that's going to do it right there for the Khalil the Hyrule Sports Board YouTube channel and Facebook page. And please be sure you always like subscribe to the Khalil the Hyrule Sports Board, both YouTube channel and Facebook page, by any means necessary. Be sure to send me your comments, your tweets, your reactions, your thoughts. And, and also, ladies and gentlemen, send your condolences to um, Tyler Skaggs. Tyler Skaggs, his family members, his fans, his viewers, his subscribers, his teammates for this um, unknown tragic loss that he, that he went through. Please do so by any means necessary. Also, I do, I do want to wish um, happy 75th to Terry, to Terry Funk, that is, by the way. Happy belated 75th birthday, by the way. So, say your birthday wishes and your um, birthday shout-outs to him, by the way, as well. Be sure to, um, what you think of the Evolve 130 results? Tell me, let me know if, you, if you're going to watch Evolve's 131 of Evolve's 10-year anniversary celebration. Let me know in the comment section. Send me your reaction, your tweets, your thoughts on that as well. You can, that'll be live on the WWE Network for your new subscribers. Let me know what you think of, um, Corey Goff, that is defeating five-time women's Grand Slam champ Venus Williams at the 2019 Wimbledon Open, and you know, let me know about that. What do you think of Ennis Kanter going going to the Celtics? What do you think of Seth Curry going to the Mavericks? Also, by the way, I do want to tell you this: that um, the suspected drug trafficker offered to pay a 30k for the shooting that wounded David Ortiz, the alleged mastermind by the name of Victor Hugo Gomez. Pay 10k to the alleged perpetrators, hired to assassinate Sixto David Fernandez, who was his cousin, by the way, and who was a friend of um, David Ortiz, by the way. So, not looking good there. Hopefully, more results are going to come. More details are going to emerge pretty soon. So, get your thoughts on that. Let me know what you think of um, Anthony Davis and D Wade being on the covers of NBA 2K20, the original edition. Digital Deluxe and the Legendary Edition. Let me know what you think about that. Let me know in the comment section. Send me your reaction, your tweets, your thoughts on that as well. Also, tell me what you think, uh, what you think of the uh, Bottle Cap Challenge. All you got to do is like, twist the bottle cap with a spin kick by opening it. So, tell me if you think you're going to do it or not. If you're into it, let me know in the comment section. Send me your reaction, your tweets, your thoughts on that as well. And, you know... Tell me what your let me tell me what your actions are, and tell me let me know if you think you're gonna do it or not. So, that's pretty good right there, and that's amazing. Tell me what you think of Kareem Hunt trouble with incident with this incident they got into by um, arguing with an individual with a friend of his and speaking to cops. That is so. Let me know in the comment section. Some of your actions, tweet your thoughts and your response. So tell me, let me know if you think that um. That Kareem Hunt should be banned from the NFL for life. Let me know about that. I can respond and address to that, by the way. And also, um, I'll be back with more breaking news, showing topics, developing storylines, live updates, huge announcements, a whole lot more in the Khalil Dalibal Sports Report. All things sports related, sports analysis, sports um, topics, developing storylines, breaking news, and um, highlights, even um, live updates. Marquee matchup stuff that you are in for all things sports late, and that's all you need to know for now. So that's all I got right there. So that's all you need to know. So take care, you guys. You guys have a good evening. Bye-bye.